It's a big night in the ice hockey season with two of our top sides in action. Peterborough Phantoms are at home to Sheffield Steel Dogs. You thought it was going to be me, did you? Yes. <laughs> and Milton Keynes Lightning are at home to Swindon Wildcats. Let's go to Milton Keynes now and our sports editor, Jonathan Park. Hi, Jonathan. Yes, hello, Stuart. We're on the ice at Punnett Ice. It's very noisy, so I hope you can hear us. The players are going through their warm-up preparations for the game tonight. It's the start of their playoff campaign, as you say. Now, things are on the up very much for the MK Lightning at the moment because they won the League Cup final for the first time in their history at the weekend. And when this place gets going, I can tell you, it really, they raise the roof, the fans. There were 3,000 here at the weekend and they're set for another big night here on the ice tonight. Oh, I the cup. It's a good time to be a fan of Milton Keynes Lightning. With their hands on the cup, it's on to the playoffs and another chance to win some precious silverware. It's very, very difficult to win anything in this league now because it's so competitive. They're giving it out, they're giving 110% on the ice and off the ice. There's nothing this team can't do. The Lightning have been on the ice for 15 years now, but never before have they won the League Cup. That all changed on Sunday when they beat local rivals Peterborough in dramatic fashion. A penalty shootout, upstep Captain Carr, Planet Ice went wild. It's the trophy we've never won before, and to keep my nerves in the penalty shootout, it was a nice feeling to score such an important goal for the club. Liam Mellon. Last night, supporters of the Lightning not only got their hands on the cup, but were given the shirts they sponsored, a chance for players and fans to mingle. A lot of people say other sports don't really do this type of thing, but it's it's important for the fans to get close to the players, I think, because it makes you feel more part of the sport and part of the, so, the community. Inside Lightning's dressing room, mostly British players, with a few imports. And when they're on the ice, they can hit speeds of 30 miles an hour. Ahead of them, Swindon, Basingstoke and Hull in the playoffs, with finals weekend in Coventry, the target next month. We've been following for five seasons, I believe, um, but this has been my favourite. You know, towards ending towards the top of the table and winning the cup, it's been amazing. It's been a great season, yes, we've got a lovely ring, um, a great team, so yeah, absolutely amazing. The Lightning have already struck once, and now they're charging for their next piece of silverware. I can tell you the speed of these players in the ice is something when they really get going. Let's have a chat to MK Lightning's head coach, Pete Russell. Pete, um, you've had a great season so far, haven't you? But you need to finish it off in the playoffs. How easy is it going to be to win this competition? Yeah, it's tough. It's uh, six games in 12 nights. So uh, we've got a lot to go on. We play Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. But we're playing pretty good right now. So hopefully we can keep going. In our region, Peterborough are also in the playoffs, aren't they? You might end up meeting them, mightn't you, in the, in, the, in the playoff finals, possibly? Yeah, if we get there and both teams get there, there's a good chance of that. And We just played them on Saturday night in a big game there in the final. We beat them, so I think they'd like to play us again. Pete, thank you very much. Very best of luck tonight. Now, Peterborough also play tonight against the Sheffield Steel Dogs. Good luck to them also. Back to you in the studio. Jonathan, thank you.